Well, get forced out of my lane, onto the shoulder, and almost off the road by a commercial bus driver on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and very fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, yeah, almost got run off the road today by a commercial bus driver. <sighs> We're on Highway 18 north of West Wyoming. Um, then we're going to make it up to this junction where it splits off and then you go into South Dakota. And it's mostly two lane. There's a couple of passing lane areas. There was this uh, oversized truck in front of me. And then in front of him, there turned out to be this guy on a motorcycle with a van behind him. I think they were traveling together going 55. It's a 70 mile an hour zone. Everybody's losing their mind. So finally, when we hit the uh, passing lane area, well, the oversized goes around. I go around also. Then I get back to the right. And uh, now there was a commercial bus behind me, Lay Bus. They're a fairly large company. They're based in Salt Lake City. I looked them up, believe me, because I had to call them a few times today. And uh, I've also seen they operate driving um, workers uh, to this uh, to the Church and Dwight facility there near uh, Green River, Wyoming. I know they operate some buses doing that. So they're they're a fairly large regional bus company. And, uh, well, you know, the two lanes is about, is, is ending. I'm in the right lane. And, uh, well, it, the, like I say, it's merging back into one. So I need to be moving back over. No, the bus decides, no, he's not going to wait any longer. And floors it, crosses the double yellow line, crowds me out, pushes me onto the shoulder, almost off the damn road, because he's too damn impatient. All right, so here I am in the left lane of the, the passing lane of, you know, on the smaller highway. I had just passed the uh, van and the motorcycle uh, so I'm moving back over to the right side and you know as we keep going up oh what was this sign coming up here oh look carefully bang yeah the lanes are merging again so right about uh, this as the lanes start to merge down into one right let's see there oh look to the left here comes the bus over the yellow line crowding me out pushing me onto the shoulder almost off the damn road Lay bus number 4175. What a jerk. And now the clutch trucker zoom and slow mo. Look, you see the dotted line's already gone. It's merged into one lane at this point, so I'm moving back over. And look, here he comes to my left over the double yellow line, forcing me off onto the shoulder, almost off the damn road. What a jerk. What a major jerk. Yeah, I mean, practically runs me off the damn road. Uh, so yeah, I, I looked him up. I looked up the uh, lay bus and I called the company immediately and said, "Look, your driver ran me off the road." Uh, and now, of course, then he's speeding. After that, he's got a bus full of people. I used to drive buses. Uh, it was a charter they were running, obviously. I used to drive uh, buses driving uh, coal miners to work in Wyoming, and sometimes on weekends or other occasions, I do the charter runs, running people like to the casinos and. Uh, 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 Deadwood, South Dakota, and uh, Riverton, uh, Wyoming. I'd run people to those casinos and back. And you know, when you've got a load full of people, not just cargo, but people, you don't do stupid crap like that. You know, you do. I used to work for Powder River Transportation, um, also part of the whole Coach USA. I would have gotten fired if I had done something like that. And so I called him, uh, the people, and then of course the call dropped out. I had to call back. I got somebody else. And I said, look, I've got video of this. You know, who do I send it to? And the guy gave me the email address to send it to. So then once I had a chance to edit everything down, then I went ahead and sent it to him. Uh, then of course they turned on the same highway, still 18 going into South Dakota, the bus did ahead of me. And all of that was for not anyway, because there was a huge oversized carrying a large windmill uh, fin up ahead and so they had to be slowed down by that. So they didn't gain anything by cutting me off and almost running me off the road, this bus driver. Then they stopped in Edgemont, South Dakota at a little gas station. I followed them in and uh, I pulled up next to the bus. I went over and tried to talk to the driver and he immediately is just screaming at me, calling me, you know, this, that, and every, you know, filth, 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 and just screaming, yelling. And they were, he was running a, a group of Cosmos was the group. So the guy, I guess, leading that group had a name tag on. He gets between me and the driver. 
I wish I had caught most of the uh, encounter, but I didn't have my phone with me. I went back to my truck, got my phone out, and started trying to film them, and you'll see this. Can you see that again? You, you don't care about my life? I don't care about you. I don't you care about you. I don't you care said? about you. I don't you care said? about you. Go back on the bus, please. Please go back on the bus. Let me get more video to send to your company. Yeah, he was being belligerent, uh, screaming, uh, calling me everything but a, a good old nice boy. <laughs> and Oh, my God. Uh, you know, all in front of his passengers. Whoa. Hello. So I sent at least that little clip you just saw also to his company. And then I tried calling him back after I left. And the guy I needed to talk to was, on, was busy or on the phone. And I said, all right, look, try in about 15 minutes. I waited until after I passed Hot Springs tried calling back. Oh no, he's still busy. I said, well, let me give you my number so he can call me back when he's done. It is now 9.30 at night, central time. Of course, that was mountain time at the time. Did he ever call me back before the end of business day? No. So obviously, I don't know. I, maybe he got busy. I, I don't know. But I haven't heard back from them. And I sent them video proof. I could have called the cops on this guy. And I didn't. And I just get, and they just, and this guy's telling me he doesn't give a crap about me and, you know, or anybody else. I don't care about you. I don't care said? about you. I don't care about you. Yeah, that's who you want as a bus driver. Lay bus. You need to uh, seriously look at the guys you hire. I mean, uh, let's take one more look at it. Now, I've been in that situation where I'm in the left lane, I'm trying to still pass another vehicle ahead of me, but I see the lanes are ending. What do you do? You back off and you get behind that vehicle that is now ahead of you and needs to merge back over because the lanes disappeared. You don't cross the double yellow line and just floor it and force them off the road, off onto the shoulder to get around them, endangering everybody on your bus. What an asshat. So, the bus driver for Lay Bus gets an F. And so far, I don't give very high marks for uh, the people at Lay Bus for not getting back to me at all. It's, you know, now it's the end, after the end of the day, business day on Friday, maybe they'll call me on Monday. I sent them video proof. I would have been fired if that was me driving that bus. That guy should be fired too. What do you think? All right, so that was quite a bit of an excitement today. Uh, all right, here it is. Yeah, Friday the 8th. Uh, I am now currently parked at the Coffee Cup Fuel Stop in Vivian, South Dakota. Um, and I'm going to try to make it all the way to Abbotsford tomorrow if I can, and maybe I can even get a 34 in over the weekend. I'm running the uh, Lignite that I picked up in Glenrock today uh, back to Wisconsin. I, uh, for my last video, I was on my way back to Cheyenne with a cereal and uh, delivered that. Um, what was that? It would have been Thursday morning. Then I tried to get, I ran a lot of errands. I got a haircut. Uh, you know, I had to run, get some more supplies at the grocery store. Had to get a couple of these, you know, they, we call them pigtails. They're little plugs with wires sticking for them. So I can finally do those uh, fog lights and rewire the headlights and all that. Got a lot of errands done. Um, didn't get as much done as I wanted to because that's life. That's what always happens. Anyway, so we're on our way back now with the uh, Lignite to Rothschild, Wisconsin for Monday morning. Then I've got a real tight one i got to pick up uh, as soon as I can get there to post again on Monday and that one delivers Tuesday afternoon uh, for the in Cheyenne with the cereal again. Then I've got to run the Lignite again on Wednesday going back to Wisconsin for next Friday a week from today and we don't know about cereal loads yet at that point. Hopefully we'll catch another one so we can just kind of keep rolling around on this loop. So yeah, as of right now, there's the uh, Blue Triangle. There we are in Vivian, South Dakota. Uh, I drove up to uh, almost Glen Rock, which is, uh, whoops, down here, right about there, uh, last night, so I could get loaded up this morning. They came across up through Rapid City and made it over here to Vivian. And then of course tomorrow, we're gonna try to make it all the way up through uh, the Twin Cities to Abbotsford so I can deliver in Rothschild on Monday morning. Then we go back over here to Northfield, pick up the cereal, and we'll run that way back across to Cheyenne. What do you think? Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing a video tonight, but you know, when you almost get run off the road, my God, anyway, I know, they're coming, they're coming. Don't worry, you don't have to butter me up. 
Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, please like and comment. Get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver who almost gets run off the road. Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, where I put uh, usually rusty stuff. I did post a couple of short vids and pics of uh, the truck getting washed last week. Uh, and as always, if that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. Wow, that was close. <laughs> I mean, we can laugh about it now. We're okay. Oh, he knows they're coming, so you see how excited he gets. Right? Are you ready for your begging strips? I'll get the bag. Okay, you know, we start down here. Come down here, Rusty, down here. And there you go. Got to make it work for it, buddy. Oh, yes, loving that bacon strip, baby. Yeah, he didn't even eat all his dinner tonight because he knew the bacon strips were coming. But he usually finishes the dinner after he has his bacon strip treat. Right, Rusty? Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I see you got more down there. You got to eat all that up. Yes. It is a beautiful thing. All right, Rusty. Yep. You're doing good. I see another little piece right there. You see it right here. There you go. All right. Happy dog look. Let's get that happy dog look. Rusty! You got it, bud.